I think that's what it is for me, that, that parents aren't saying to their kids like, oh, art school, or oh, you want to be a filmmaker or a photographer with that level of hesitation. I want it to be something that folks are paid to do and it's a, it's a respected and viable career option. I'm Tyler Palmer, I'm the VP of Operations at Patreon. Been at the company a little over four years now. I'm basically responsible for business ops here. Patreon's a membership platform for artists and creators. We're a way that fans can give to and become members of artists that they love. So people creating stuff online, um, whether it's a web comic that you read every day or a podcast that you listen to every day, or maybe it's a YouTube creator, a musician, a filmmaker, Basically, we've democratized membership and allowed those folks to launch their own subscription businesses on the platform. We're basically on a mission to try to fund the creative class and make sure that artists who are creating cool, beautiful stuff online uh, are paid properly for it by their top fans. I grew up in LA and I was deep in the arts community. I had a lot of like friends, family members, and neighbors who were artists and, and they were so talented and yet like struggling to get by. I was an artist myself, but I knew like from an early age that I didn't want to be a professional artist, that I wanted to help these other folks around me who I felt like deserved salaries and incomes. When I was in school, I got started with a startup called Stage It down in Los Angeles. And we were, yeah, we were on a mission. Our mission was to get artists paid. And, and uh, the way we did that there was through live streaming and fans would buy tickets and they would tip. I joke with the founders at uh, Patreon that I've been working on this mission since before Patreon's been around. Did I feel like it was a risk? Not really. I, I knew in my, in my bones, down to my bones, that this was a thing that was needed for artists and creators, that they, they need ch checks from tech companies and they need to get paid for what they do and they need it on a recurring basis with all of the trends we're seeing happening in the world around uh, membership, it's clear that uh, subscription payments are a really viable solution for those people. And I'm optimistic, what I've seen what people are willing to do to support artists and they're willing to open up their wallet and put their money where their mouth is if you make it easy and, and simple. I think this year alone will send far over $150 million to artists and creators around the world.